September the 21st, 2017 deadline day has come and gone, and all the latest deals and potential deals can be found here, but there's plenty brewing in the market as clubs begin to look toward January. Sanchez Sterling mega swap back on for January as the summer transfer window entered its final hours. Speculation broke that Manchester City were prepared to sacrifice Raheem Sterling to acquire Alexis Sanchez in a swap deal. The Gunners refused to sell the Chilean in the end after failing to line up a replacement, but the Mirror reports that they will look to pick up talks over Sterling again in January. Arsene Wenger might be prepared to sanction Sanchez's sale in order to recoup some money before he becomes a free agent in the summer, with Manchester United, Real Madrid and Chelsea also reportedly interested. Pep Guardiola has insisted that Sterling is absolutely not for sale in the club's official line is that Arsenal asked for Sterling. But the Londoners seem to make Thomas Lamar their number one priority late in the window, failing with a £90 million offer. John Patrick Fletcher Action Plus via Getty Images Spurs and Liverpool Battle for German Wanderkid Tottenham and Liverpool are going head-to-head -head for Werder Bremen's super talent David Philip, writes The Mirror. Jurgen Klopp is keen to acquire his compatriot, who has dazzled for his club's under-17 side, scoring 18 goals and assisting 21 more. Die Werderana's academy director Bjorn Schierenbeck has hinted the Premier League giants are lining up moves. I would nt want to rule out the interest in David from the English clubs, Sheeran Beck is quoted as saying. But I don't know exactly how firm it is. We would be very eager to continue working together with David. Barcelona and Bayern lead chase for Goretzka Schalke star Leon Goretzka is debating whether to join Barcelona or Bayern Munich, according to Bild. The 22-year-old will become a free agent next summer and seemingly had come to an agreement in May with Bayern. Schalke are pushing for an extension to avoid losing their talent for nothing next year and might consider a January sale should a deal not be struck. Martin Meisner at Dybala has no release clause A Juventus general manager Beppe Marotta has squashed speculation that Paolo Dybala has a release clause in his Bianconeri contract, according to quotes attributed to him in Premium Sport. The old lady have seen the Argentinian emerge as a superstar, but rumours in the Spanish media suggested that a €120 million Euros buyout clause existed solely for Barcelona, should they bid. But speaking to Premium Sport on Wednesday night, Marotta dismissed speculation and insisted that as long as Dybala wants to be in Turin, he will not be sold. Release clause in Dybala's contract Release clauses are more popular in Spain than in Italy, Marotta reportedly remarked. We acquired Gonzalo Higuain and Miral in Pjanic last season because of this. I am against this, and no one at Juve have any clauses. If a player wants to leave, then we won't keep him. It's that simple. Tapens Liverpool have ended the lengthy tapping-up saga over an unnamed 13-year-old youth footballer by agreeing to pay compensation, reports The Telegraph. The Stoke youngster was unable to continue his footballing education until the Potters had been remunerated with £49,000, which Liverpool have covered, as well as school fees. The Reds were also slapped with a £100,000 fine and a transfer ban on domestic youth players. Pep Guardiola wants to keep Fernandino beyond 2018, with the male claiming talks are underway over a new deal. The 32-year-old could leave on a free transfer in the summer, but... Without a natural holding midfielder and Ilkay Gundogan encountering further injury problems after starting on Wednesday night in the Carabao Cup at West Brom, an extension for the Brazilian will become a priority.